Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. I love to cook with herbs, and they're attractive to grow. Today we're going to make an herb spiral, which is developed by permaculturists. It's a great way to grow a lot of herbs in a small space. First step is to choose your location that gets five hours of sun and it's close to your kitchen door. Herb spirals are typically six and a half feet in diameter and three and a quarter feet tall. Larger than this, you won't be able to reach the middle plants. And smaller than this, the spiral doesn't create the proper microclimates. To construct your herb spiral, you'll need cardboard, newspaper, or weed fabric, one and one half cubic meters of rocks, bricks, or cinder block, gravel or sand, half cubic yard of soil, compost or other organic matter, such as wood, straw, and leaves, organic mulch, like straw, leaves, or bark. I'm using a six by six piece of weed fabric. If you're gonna use cardboard, make sure and mark the perimeter or the footprint. To lay out the spiral garden, you're gonna need a piece of twine about three feet long and two stakes. Pound the stake into the center of your weed fabric or cardboard. This is the center of your herb spiral. Next, we're gonna pour a layer of sand over the fabric. Mound the material to the center. Tie your string to the bottom of your stake and then tie the other end to the other stake. Swing the free stake around and mark out a circle. This is the footprint of your herb spiral. You want the opening of your spiral to be facing north. In the northern hemisphere, build your spiral clockwise. In the southern hemisphere, counterclockwise. That's the direction the water will drain. Using your rocks or bricks, lay out your spiral. The planting areas should be 15 inches wide. Now you're gonna add a second layer of rocks on top of the first layer. The lowest point of your spiral is gonna be at the beginning and it's gonna gradually get higher and higher until the center is about three feet tall. The growing area should gradually slope down. If you're using rock, it can help to add gravel and organic matter as you build up for stability. The closer you get to the center, the more gravel, rock, or sand you would use and less organic matter or soil. If desired, you can add large pieces of organic matter like wood, grass clippings, and leaf litter on top of the gravel which will gradually decompose and feed the bed. I want to thank my strong friends, Marcus and Shane, for helping me build this. Now we're going to let it settle for a couple of months. Well, my herb spiral has all settled. Now it's time to plant. The top part of the spiral is driest. That's the best place to plant the Mediterranean herbs, such as rosemary, sage, thyme, and basil. As you go down the spiral, plant chives, coriander, parsley, violas, chamomile, marigolds, and finally some mints and watercress. Keep in mind the height of your plants. You don't want one of the plants to shade out its neighbor. You can add lettuces and greens to your spiral as well. Keep in mind that the southern part of your spiral will be the sunniest and the driest, and the northern part will be the coolest and the shadiest. The herb spiral is easy to water either with a sprinkler on the top or you can lay emitter or soaker hose around in a spiral. Add an herb spiral to your garden plan and grow organic for life.